Hi, this is Duke 3D Level Design Course, Episode 1, Navigation and Basics. There are only two views in the build engine, 3D and 2D. After opening the editor, you will see a 2D view from the top with a grid and white arrow. The white arrow represents the camera or the player. In the bottom left are the XY coordinates and the angle of the white arrow. The number of sectors, walls and sprites in the level is shown next to it. Note that we have a limit. This is the standard build engine limit and we can exceed it. Let's load the first level. Press escape button. The menu will appear on the bottom panel below. Press the L key to load the level. If you don't see the full list, press Ctrl plus F. Select episode 1, level 1. To move in 2D view, press and hold the right mouse button. Use the mouse wheel or A and Z keys to zoom in and zoom out. Let's move to the 3D view. To be able to enter the 3D view, the camera must be in the game area. Press Enter on the numpad. I turn off the ambient sounds in the editor by pressing F4. We can turn them back on for the sound work by pressing the same key again. Press and hold the right mouse button to look around and use the arrow keys to move around. Press the A and Z buttons to move up and down. There are three modes of vertical movement, which are cycled through with caps lock. These three modes are gravity mode, height lock mode, and float mode. I mostly use float mode, but to check the scale of different objects, I switch to gravity mode. This is also handy for quick downward movement, like so. Switch back to 2D view by pressing Enter on the numpad, and let's create a new map. Press Escape key and the N key. Move the cursor over the grid and press the spacebar. You will create a vertex. Move the mouse around and you will notice that a white line is now following your mouse cursor. This is the wall. Let's continue drawing the shape by pressing the spacebar. If you want to undo the created vertex, press Backspace. Press the spacebar once more to proceed with creating vertices in a square formation. As soon as you connect the final vertex to the initial one, the white line will no longer track your mouse cursor, indicating that you have successfully created your first sector. A sector is just a combination of walls and points, and it can be any size or shape you like. However, it's best to avoid lines that cross, or walls that are extremely long as these can cause problems. If walls get too long, they'll change color in Map 32 as a warning. To add a vertex to a wall, hover over it and press Insert or the I button. To delete a vertex, select and hold it with the left mouse button and connect it to any other vertex on the same wall. To delete a sector, move the mouse cursor inside the sector and press Ctrl Delete. Let's get the sector back. To change the shape of a sector, you can use the left mouse button to move a point around. You can click and hold the left mouse button or right shift to select multiple points. Press the same button to deselect. Use colon plus right shift or quote plus right shift to add or subtract selected points. Use G or shift G to change the grid size. Let's switch to 3D mode. This is your first sector. Congratulations! In the next tutorial, we will learn how to add textures and create more complex shapes.